Should just start the stream coughing. Hi, guys. Guess what? I have a cold again. Can you tell? So, I am gonna be doing maybe less talking tonight? Nope. All the talking. There was no way I was going to miss a chance to do the story with the guy who writes the story. Um, we have Josh Deitch. Same way to say it. I'm almost right. Did I? That's right. I watched PTV and I just about died. It was fantastic. Um, so I got it right. Josh, a.k.a. Scrivenancer, <laughs> is going to meet us and uh, join us in Orochi Tower, running issue 11. Hopefully start to finish. Hopefully unscathed when we're done with him. And he is uh, going to... We're going to just ask him all the things. This is not an interview. This is getting into his head about storytelling while we do fun things. So... Welcome to it. I'm only kind of going to be watching chat tonight, as you can tell. I'm really going to try not to talk any more than I have me. to. Yeah, Rishi's got chat tonight, so you got to get past the gatekeeper. <laughs> Anyone misbehaves, they get bludgeoned with the stuffed Winnie the Pooh. I think you get red misted from down the hallway. Yeah, I don't know which Rishi you know, <laughs> yeah. but the other night she was a bloodthirsty little thing, so yeah. Alright, I'm gonna do some shouting in Agartha. I feel too. I'm gonna put on my shiny thing. Can I put on my shiny thing? I'm gonna do it. I'm going to do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah, I just be basically shiny. Shiny. Yes. Yes, it's uh, not an interview, it's an interrogation. <laughs> We're using his own creations against it's, him. It's right, it's all of you jumping into my head. It's fantastic. Did you just... you accepted my meetup like two seconds before I was going to... That's fantastic. Okay, I'm going to go back to Agartha in a second. Somebody there I can meet up with? We, we've got this down to a science, guys. We're pro. <laughs> Going pro. People in chat seem pleased with issue 11. Oh, they also my new Janet. <laughs> Thank you. People are saying it's uh, it's like when you finish, when you finish a book in your favorite series, <laughs> you ask yourself, why did I finish this? Now I can't read. I I, I know <laughs> that feeling well. It's it's putting your darling to rest. I can't even imagine. I know what it was like for us to get to run through it, but to write it and to get this far with it, it's just I can't wrap my head around how great that is. <laughs> yeah, uh, hoping hoping I took the reins on characters from other people and, and and brought them to some remotely similar place that they were heading. All right, I'm back in Gartha. Thank you. I'm gonna yell now. Yeah, I've, um, this will be interesting, because I've, I've, I've seen probably all of the tower, but I've seen it all in bits and pieces. So you've had an actual... You haven't actually gone through it. Just I've gone end through end. parts of it on, uh, you know, as we're testing it and stuff, but, uh, but not in the, uh, not the finished product yet. Oh, hey, lore. You guys are I mean, lore, I'm in there every night when I close my eyes now, uh, after the crunch time. <laughs> was Lilith watching you? Lore? Yeah, there's Laura over here. Yeah, I just, I close my eyes and all I hear is, Hiya, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> now you know how the rest of us have felt since that first came out. Uh, yeah, John was fun. John was fun to bring to life. I have questions about him, too. I'll ask him now, since I'm sitting here. Nice. Was he, by the way, I will say this now. This is one giant spoiler, guys. So if you're watching this and you haven't run it, yeah, yeah, lots of one spoilers. We're just gonna dive spoiler. in, pick apart things. Yeah, juicy, gushing spoilers. So a wonderful mental image. One thing that I think I missed, and I'm trying to pick up on it, is who recruited John and where. Exactly, did they first find him? I mean, who was the first contact for him? Was that, um, what's her, oh, 
character names. What's her name? Is helpful? In Fear Nothing? Or did, like, Lilith pick him out ahead of time? Are you thinking of Nyanomi or what? Nyanomi, yeah. Sorry, T Tilty was messing with me. But, um, yeah, uh, he was, um, uh, he was, uh, let me think it back to John's story. Uh, Fear Nothing, whose first contact would be, would be interesting, probably just the normal, I would guess the normal, um, recruiting methods they had, and Mark Hard, uh, picked him out, particularly for the mission they had. They, they built John up for what was essentially a suicide mission. Are we going to find out anything else about the, uh... I'm just going to keep throwing them at you. Are we going to find out anything else about the, uh... His groomer? Who showed up unexpectedly? Mr. Shea? Uh, Nyanomi, yeah, Nyanomi was the one that kind of, um... She more or less set John up to, uh... Groomed him to be, uh... To be their, their, their weapon. Um... Uh, played to his, uh... To his awkwardness. Uh, John was a very awkward guy as a living person. And, um, yeah, he went into the Fear Nothing Foundation, which, you, you know, from God past God. issues, we've seen that's a wonderful oh, place. Shall be forced to cancel your life. But what about Shay? And Shay's grooming. Oh, yes, yes. Um, uh, he, uh,. He was kind of uh, like uh, Naomi, more or less built built John up, and uh, Che ca came in to um, to kind of uh, finish the job, set get John to the, just the place they wanted mentally uh, to take that bomb where they wanted it taken, and uh, he probably had some other mysterious and nefarious purposes. He's um, he's higher up on the uh, the morning morning lights totem pole. Yeah, he's way higher up than the food chain than I saw coming. That's pretty cool. Alright. Before I bore you guys here, are we ready to go in? Actually, I have one more question about oh. Shay before we get going. In the in the dream sequence, it l sure looks like Che goes wandering into Agartha. Is that is how John's mind perceived it, or is Che one of those uh, initiated who is able to travel the Agartha ways? Che, I believe, flew in. Uh, or no, 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 Che took the Agartha ways. At some point. Yeah. I have to reference the, the vast bookshelves of lore in my head. Uh, yeah, doing uh, uh, Joel, Joel had a particular fondness for those uh, those memory scenes um, uh, with uh, Che and John uh, doing it up on the town. He wanted to make sure we got those in there. I'm trying to find a build while I'm here. Hang on a second. A <laughs> build? Yeah, it occurred to me that I have to actually almost think about what I'm doing here. Not my usual thing. Is it fairly <laughs> safe? Is it fairly safe to assume then that the morning light has um, multiple assets that can travel the same way that we can? Yes, they more they they um they more than likely have uh, have uh, a few imbued agents of their own. Um, uh, since they were sponsored by Lilith, uh, Lilith could funnel stuff to them. Um, but they were kind of a little side project uh, uh, away from the uh, the main plan. So um, yeah, whatever she could secretly funnel to them, and and then when it kind of splintered off into Marcard's uh, direction, whatever you know, whatever he could get, and uh, we may see more of that upcoming. Ooh. Um, Jen. Yes, um. The the chat says that they're having a bit of trouble hearing everyone, but. You. Oh, okay. Um, wonderful. I'm sorry, chat. I apologize for that. Let me uh, up some volumes. Give me just a second. 
First, let me put my glasses back on. That's important. That would help. That would help. So, so they can hear the person who can barely talk. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> not where we want to be with this. We are so good at this. <laughs> they want to know if Adrian Zerlescu is imbued. Imbued with being a jerk. You know, personally, I'm not sure if that would be better or worse, because then we get to kill him over and over and over again. <laughs> yes. The never-ending woodchipper ride. Let's just drop down one of those portable animal wells. We've got kind of a loud ambient here too. Is that any better, guys? Am I better? Do I have a delay? Give me a so second, give me a second, I'll tell yeah. You. Yeah. Because there's some serious lag, at least on my end. Yeah, it sounds better. Okay, good. Excellent. Yay! Yay! All right. I missed about Adrian. You guys have to. I'll, I'll go back and watch it later. Excellent on YouTube. I can do that. Okay. <laughs> <Isn't> that <great? laughs> All right. Are we doing assault on Orochi Tower? Yes. Yes. To the tower. Cut scene. Do I see some pretty wings? Mission? Oh yeah, wings. It's the first I've seen wings with a dance. That's that's cool. I so want to do more storyline and missions with uh, Kaoru. Uh, she's got some more backstory. I'd like to get back to you at some point. Hopefully. Yes. Hopefully. Yes, that makes me happy. I'm a big fan of Kaoru. Come on in, Chuck. On. Yeah, yeah, I really liked her. She uh, she grew on me writing her. One of the Phoenicians in general, too. Yeah, she gives up. Yeah, yeah, it'd be neat to see them. And she was interesting to give them more uh, human face to it, not just uh, purple villains running about. Yeah, something, something besides bunch of jerks who shoot up uh, a theater. That's what, yeah, I really, that's what I really. They were. They were particularly jerky at that moment. I just love that, that you stop questioning why she would do something bad like this when you start looking at her background and her loyalties and, and things like that. It, it was really... That was a kind of depth of character I just didn't see coming. It was really cool. I was ready to think all the Phoenicians were just mindless uh, money grabbers. So that made me... Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're a big organization and you, as an agent, probably just see the most ruthless bits of it, but... Uh... Yeah, I, I, I like the way her backstory came about in the, um, it's not always easy getting that across, particularly when you, uh, when you rely so much on the, um, just the little, uh, stock phrase things they have when you click on them, um, along with the actual mission text and stuff. I didn't want to bog down her scenes with her just, you know, giving, uh, exposition, but, um, but I think piece by piece it came out. Alright, there are... Three of us in here. 
Well, the other examples we have, uh, what, Tannis and, and Lydia, I believe. Yeah, neither, yeah of whom, are... ne neither of whom are most players going to be very sympathetic to for various reasons. Yeah, yeah, you'd have to, you'd have to give <laughs> a lot more background on them to, to find anything, you know, well, or at least as uh, as uh, endearing as Karu, I think. Lydia, also known as, why won't you die? <laughs> oh, <laughs> keeps running away. Oh, so badly. Okay, so there's a run in here. Random question again, because as you can tell, I've lost track of some of the characters. Um. That's okay, I do that too. Okay, good. Do we know what happened to Markward? 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 I can't say it. Um. I, I always have to try and remember what I know and what the players know at this point. Uh, Markard? No, I think. He's definitely, uh, I mean, he always was a person of interest to the factions. Now, now he's mega person of interest. Mega person, okay. But, mega um, person, okay. but um, exactly where he is now, I don't think has been explicitly said just yet. Okay, that that caught me, and I was like, I'm not sure. Did we lose him somewhere, or is he still floating around? That's even better. Okay, yeah, excellent. Oh yeah, he's he's out there. Yeah, excellent. He surprised even Lilith. I love all the things that surprise Lilith. I also love getting filth on her outfit. That was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Just like, <laughs> Alright, everybody come get the mission before picking up the sword. Okay, are we gonna point at the two people who we don't have the right shield on? <laughs> To be fair, I only have the right shield on because because I like blue. That sounds about right. What are you wearing? This is fantastic. The correct shield is the one that does not have full XP. That's a very lore-friendly outfit. This is just fantastic. I'm sorry. This is what that is. I feel immersed, just looking at it. I feel it has a certain whimsical Mankini-esque vibe. <laughs> oh, the Mankini. The single article of clothing will never, never die. Yeah, it's fantastic. Nope, I wear it to work every day in protest. I... <laughs> I'm not saying anything. For once, it I'm not going to say hurts my co-workers it. more than it hurts me. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I think that one's for you, Jen. That kind of stream. Oh, yeah. Okay, the first thing that we thought when we came in here and saw this was, Frank, why did you put a tank in here? Because Badger's character would totally do that. <laughs> I'm telling you, senior prank. So... The tank. I almost expected the tanks to become a character in here. I'm still not entirely sure. Having run some things, I'm not entirely sure. But is there an AI aspect to them? The tanks? Oh. Or if I just totally anthropomorphized it? You might have. I think. I mean, we've met one tank driver past issues. Um, he seemed to have such a relationship with it. Yeah, yeah, it's true. They, uh, maybe, maybe they're alive, or, or, you know, maybe, maybe you just meant to think so, like, uh, like the companion cubes. There are, there are giant companion cubes. <laughs> but it would be fun to have a, a tank in this with character. So can you can you talk a little bit about the fact that the the three gangs have thrown in they are all in on this assault on the Roji Tower and I, this seems to be something a little bit above their pay grade so to speak. Right, right. This is um, you know, the, uh, 
important to remember the three gangs aren't actually part of the factions that they're allied with. They've just kind of courted each other and, uh, you know, used each other, hired... Uh, the gangs were kind of hired by the larger factions, and, um... And yeah, this is, uh, this is a little above and beyond, and that's why the uh, Imbeda, uh, his crew and Gozen, who normally, their, their two gangs would not do anything other than kill each other. That's why they're very grudgingly able to uh, be brought together, because uh, it's really the only way. Good old Damon. I have a big question about Damon, but I think I'll save it for the tower top. Cool. Because I'm not sure you're going to answer it, and I'll wear you down. <laughs> Good tactics. After the coffee wears down, my wits will, uh, will leave me vulnerable. The coffee? <sighs> Isn't that supposed to wear up your wit? <laughs> well, it's, wearing, it'll coffee, it's a depressant. Well, it'll wear down because uh, I'm on my last cup. I'm on, I'm on my last medically advisable cup for the day. Because of the throat, <laughs> I switched to tea. I want you to know that I switched to tea for you first of all today. Thank you. And I drank so much of it that my Keurig asked for identification after several cups because it didn't believe it was me coming for the. <laughs> <laughs> that is how much tea. Did it ask you to go through a waiting period? It did. It, it, yeah, I had to sign papers and do all kinds of things. You guys. This is where we see who's done bank heist per perfectly. That's right. That's right. So am I the only one that just thinks it's, it's deliciously ironic that Jingu are the one following Diamond's advice here? Mm-hmm. Uh, but could not have been happy to do it. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, uh, Diamond and his crew are kind of surprised to the others. Um, you know, the factions come in, and the Illuminati and the uh, Templars, they go for what seems to be the obvious people to go to, as far as if you want the, the best bets if you, on some when you want an ally to come on top in this, uh, you know, supernatural chess game going on, yeah, there's a group of demons, and then there's a group of, like, ancient mystic samurai, one of them, maybe not the, uh, the, the, the criminal mooks of the city, and, uh, Diamond kind of surprised them, he surprised the other two gangs. Uh, I don't imagine uh, Ghost's happening. Got us all killed. Really? Got us all killed. Really? <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Really? You and your cartwheels. I mean, it's all part of my master plan. <laughs> I was so proud. I survived! Excuse me, I didn't think we'd need this, but I'll put the death counter up. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Chuck. <laughs> Who survived? Anyone? I did. Badger did. Yay, Badger. His rocket jump was up, he ran the, for the, the end. The minute, yeah, the minute I saw the turrets pop, I was like, RUN AWAY! <laughs> I was still on the pad. And I'm like, why is there blood coming out of my chest? I don't understand. Yeah, I, maybe this is time to say I'm the least skilled video game player maybe in the building. Really? Well... Did Aurora's pay you person. to do this? No, I just mean you shot me again just now. Oh. I'm being blamed in group chat. <laughs> I peeked around the corner and suddenly death turns. surrounds us. This is <clears throat> all right. Well, I'll be back here. Sam, did you survive that one? Well, I wasn't up there. I'm not playing around anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that was flicker and rocket jump all the way. It's... Yeah. Saved you. yeah, I'm changing. Yay! We're, uh, Sam I was just going to wait for the cool down on hide over jump. here. But... Apparently I can't afford the 30 seconds. <laughs> you guys are making me laugh, which is not good for the throat. Let's see. It's good to know that you guys get me killed as much as my otters. Gee, thanks. 
Tee hee, tee hee. This they can't blame me for this one. It, it's part of our charm. Oh, I see the cute little otters in the, the bottom left corner of the screen for the first time. That's our death counter. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Oh, now, okay, it went from being cute to tragic. <laughs> <laughs> like so many things. Yep. That's, uh, man. That's pretty that's, much that's what I do what for a living. world. I, yeah, <laughs> I make cute things tragic. All starts with, aww, and then it becomes, aww. Uh, I watched Watership Down as a kid, and it scarred me in ways that... Why? Oh, I minute. didn't... Oh. Why? I just stood there and they... <sighs> <laughs> it's just sick of your shit. I call it shenanigans. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm extremely fascinated with the outer kill countdown now. <laughs> this is my favorite live stream feature ever now. I'm afraid. Please, please it just no ticked otters, up. no kittens in the game. You know, it's, it's, it's funny, Tilty, Tilty afterwards said he felt dirty from all the stuff I showed him, and he's like, please write about kittens and dogs, and I, I begged him as a friend not to let me spoil kittens I, and dogs. I saw that, that was my favorite, that tweet. Because, uh, I could do it. No. Please no, please no. <laughs> You're not even allowed in the Not Arachnid thread either, by the way. Just not even. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, uh, I've been meaning to like post like some tweets about my little my little darlings. I I recently got into uh, tarantula rearing, uh, wider audience, uh, and it's like a cheap and easy hobby. It's not an easy I've... hobby for Jen. It's a very well, no, difficult okay, hobby okay, for okay. Jen. She... <laughs> fear fear of spiders aside, it's like the easiest and cheapest thing to get into. Uh, they're just basic, they're, they're these tiny, two tiny tarantulas, they're each in a little plastic box that's like a, it's just like a large dice case, really, and, uh, or die case, and, um, yeah, there's, you hardly do anything, it's just like, it's, rear, it's like rearing some particularly aggressive plants. Particularly aggressive yeah. plants. And, uh, one of them's very pretty, it's like this electric blue color. I talked over Rishi. She wanted to know if they had names. Uh, yes. Um, uh, I have a uh, Brazilian black tarantula. Uh, uh, I don't know their sexes. Its name is Nyarlat Hotep, so that every time I feed it, I can say I made a sacrifice to Nyarlat Hotep. Oh, that is pretty excellent. It is. And, and uh, the other one uh, right now is called Sylvanas Wallwalker. Fantastic. That's awesome. All right, I said spiders were fantastic. Yeah. Don't quote me. <laughs> <laughs> Such so, is the power. When, when the former gets loose, does it become crawling chaos? Yes, yes, I will. Oh, I will. I will refer to that at point. He'll be the crawling chaos because uh, I say he. I don't actually know, but the the Brazilian black tarantula is a heavier terrestrial tarantula, whereas Sylvanas is a um, a Viculera versa, a uh, Martinique pink toe. And they, uh, they, they, they crawl on things and spin webs and stuff. So it, it walks up walls. Chad is loving on you for this script. <laughs> <laughs> I will... Uh, more, I'll post more of that on my, my Twitter and hopefully my Resurrect My Long Dead blog uh, with, 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 with some info on the, uh, the exciting and, and, and surprisingly easy world of uh, tarantula raising. That is, that is awesome. Twitter turned on me yesterday. I had a, I had a spider uh -oh. on my sock, and the entire roleplay oh, community—the no. roleplay community—they turned on me and and told me all of their spider horror stories and shared pictures and spiders playing bongos and the dance of their people and it was. I needed therapy <laughs> afterwards. It was it was horrible. I'm not I'm not immune. To, like, there's a lot of creepy crawly things I like. Uh, growing up, I had reptiles and all kinds of animals and things. Uh, spiders never bother me. I don't know. I guess because they're predators, they just don't. They seem clean to me and not like something that will really bother me. But like uh, uh, large cockroaches make me go ugh. As do centipedes. I think centipedes are the devil's creation. And millipedes. Anything with too many legs like that. But yeah, I like snakes. No legs. I like snakes. Is that your snake? I used to, I used to keep those. 
I saw a picture on, on the... I was looking for a picture of you. I was stalking you. No, I was looking for a Google picture of you mm. when I was doing art. Uh, yeah, there's probably... There's probably some pictures of me and my, um, I, I had a snake, um, oh geez, five years ago? Has it been that long? More than five years. When, just before I left to go to Norway to, to work for Funcom, I had a snake, but I couldn't take her with me because, oh. uh, because I was changing countries and it just would it would have been really difficult. She, uh, she was an endangered species, so I'd have a permit anyway, and it was just gotten really complicated. So I, I took her back to the breeder, and I imagine she's a mama to all kinds of baby snakes by now. Was this the big, gorgeous, blue blackish kind of snake? She was. Yeah, it, they're um, uh, eastern indigo snake. They're they're oh, North yeah, yeah, yeah. largest snake. Oh, yeah. Very cool snakes. You need to get a permit. Some states you can't get them. Usually, states that they exist naturally in because they're very endangered. But um, really cool snakes. Uh, very active, uh, and they've got a cool. It looks black until you get it in the right light, and then you see like blues and purples. I was trying to figure out what she was. That's fantastic. Okay. All right, you get many points back so for the snake. Question, question about Yay. this little s this spot we are in here. Uh, how independent are the the combat drones? Because you know they're laying down defenses here. Um, the other ones running the tank back there. Uh, I, I I I get the feeling that there's you know decently independent. Uh, or they have some, or, or is somebody in the tower sending streams of commands to them? Uh, as I understand them, it's it's uh, it's the it's the second option. I mean, they 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 have some some pretty complex, uh, uh, or at least at least functional uh, uh, intelligence to do certain things, but um, they're mostly directed by. Uh, maybe not remote controlled, but certainly directed and checked up on by folks in the tower or or elsewhere. So there's some Orochi intern working a console that we need to just go punch in the face. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you repeat that? I, I joked and said there's there's an Orochi intern or something at a workstation that we need to go punch in the face. <laughs> probably. There's probably, uh, you know, things are nuts there now, so it could just be like, you know, Joe the Coffee Guy, it's just like, it's, it's my chance to shine. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out they're supposed to be protecting the people of Kaiden. Yeah. I mean, like, the drones will have, like, I'm, the drones would have, like, modes, like, you know, like, defend the tower, or do this, you know, so basic commands that they would then have to make, you know, choices and things uh, based on their, their limited intelligence uh, under the confines of those commands. I was going to ask who gave the command to defend the tower from us, but then I like Joe the Coffee Guy so much that... I, I'm gonna go with Joe is trying his darkness to keep you guys out. You guys I out. I really like this idea. It was the Orochi janitor. There's Lord Lord back I swear here. I killed them. They keep getting up. Joe, the call. I'm rooting for you, Joe, but Joe. we have to take you out. <laughs> he, he thinks he's playing a game. <laughs> Actually, that would be that, that, that would be very Orochi, like just to have Joe or yeah. just a group of kids playing a game, think, not knowing it. Yeah, kind of an Ender's Game sort of scenario. Did he like, turn him off, or is he going to kill us again? No, he turned him off. He okay. off. <laughs> it would be great if you could turn them back on. That would be the best oh, that feature. Would be. <laughs> Come into he range. That and I, I ran over like... <laughs> I did too. Because I knew if I didn't get there first and you could, I was a goner. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's get the thing. Joe the coffee guy playing the best real-time strategy game ever. These are the sorts of conversations that generate things that pop up later. Uh oh. We may. Who knows? <laughs> we may. We may. We may get to see the adventures of Joe in, in some shape or form. Yay! That's never a promise, um, especially for me, because it's my job to think fanciful thoughts. Uh, it's the job of all the other practical people to say, no, Josh, we can't, or yes, Josh, we can. You should always say, yes, Josh, we can. We don't have any practical people here, so you're safe. It'll all be good. All right, good, good. I just always have to say that, because otherwise people are like, it's true, this is going to happen. Confirmed. Yes, definitely not by me, because I'll just be like, yeah, that's awesome. Player housing on the moon. Fantastic. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Confirmed. And, Confirmed. You, you, know, you know what, though? With the mentions of the moon in the lore, 
yeah, folks would totally take that. With a nod to the forums, I'll just say it's a promise from a dev, clearly. Anyway, going on. There is a stadium clearly. on the moon. Everything is true. I've forgotten this. That's Confirmed right. one of our drinking game uh, things. No, but oh man, it should be. It should. Make it so. <laughs> Well, player housing was mentioned. That's true. Take a yeah. drink. This is a this is a mature game, so I can I can I can uh, I can encourage drinking games, I guess. If we uh, if we have too many player housing mentions, we might have to switch to Cards Against Humanity just because we'll be too drunk to get through the rest of this. All right. <laughs> All right. I played Cards Against Humanity with my parents recently. It was a Interesting, wow. strange wow. stretch into, of our of our relationship. Oh, interesting question from chat. Someone says, "Was um, Yuichi's girlfriend in Fear Nothing? Was that Nanomi, or was that some other unnamed individual?" That. Oh, hang on a second. Sorry. Uh oh. Didn't Naomi say Sorry that that, that, that Yuichi was supposed to be the one? Supposed to be the one. Yeah, yeah. She um she was his uh, his would be girlfriend or at least stringing along because uh, Yuichi was one of the people that uh, was being groomed for for possible uh, uh, bombing activity, but he uh, he freaked out at the last minute and didn't do it. There was, uh, the mission Love in Origami, uh, has some details on that. But yeah, uh, uh, Yuichi, uh, was in a similar spot to John in that regard. I think... Um, go ahead. I think seeing the, the filth be controlled by Yuichi might might be just as interesting as seeing it be controlled by Oh, man. John. It would just say <laughs> random facts. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jeez. yeah. It's <laughs> an that, interesting that alternate. Space, Chuck. I don't, I don't. <laughs> and play Space Commandos with those weird action figures of his. That's right. I just spit water don't at the screen. Thank you. Figures. Oh, my God. Every time, Yuichi would just leave me staring at the screen after the cutscene. And it's just like... Wow. Oh, Yuichi and Rum. Rum, I just wanted to sedate. I love that character, but I wanted to sedate her every time. Yeah, dart in the neck. Yep. I know how to use ketamine darts. I had to go to class for it, so... Nice. It's a, it's a useful life skill. Especially around this lot. Okay, so... <laughs> We feel sorry for her. We didn't see her till our second run through. Does she have a story? This uh, <laughs> this receptionist? receptionist curled up. Curled up. No, we can make one up for her. Smartest her Orochi, smartest Orochi employee in the tower, cause she hid. Yeah, <laughs> she's yeah, the only yeah. one who hid. <laughs> she's the only Orochi employee that saw a horror movie. <laughs> it's fantastic. Okay. That might be like a requirement that she lied about, like in the questionnaire. Have you ever watched a horror movie before? And she answered nope, no, never. and it was yes. It doesn't occur to Orochi employees that you shouldn't go down into the basement. So Orochi employees, when they have the choice of the flashlight, the axe, or the shotgun, they, they take the flashlight. Yeah, yeah. Did you guys get the quest? I'll yes. All right, so we were uh, recommended and requested several times to do QBL1, which I've not done QBL Alpha. Is that okay with everybody? How many yeah. QBL, we are the world. Yeah. I'm kidding. No, I'm not. Wow. Uh, we have another question from chat. Uh, someone asks, are we ever going to hear about uh, Takeru? T A Q 
K-E-R-U? Uh, possibly. <laughs> I have another question while we we're doing this um, from somebody who's not in Twitch chat. Um, they roleplay a member of Corinto Kai. If you haven't figured out, guys, role players roleplay all sorts of people in this game, not just player character types. Um, it's a very creative right. lot. Um, they want to know if um, what's going on with the Corinto Kai now that their boss has been promoted. That's a good question. Do we know? Are we going to find out? Uh, we don't know exactly. It's something It's something I wish we could have uh, gotten into a little bit more, but um, we may see signs of this in the future uh, as the story develops. But um, So the Korinto Kai, have, uh, the, they, uh, the chaos that happened in Tokyo, they were the most prepared for, for reasons that may have been hinted at, and may, we may be getting into uh, more of very soon. So... Um, Diamond's, uh, Diamond's promotion is a big surprise to everyone. It's a big surprise to the gangs and, and, and Kaiden. It's a huge surprise to the factions. Uh, the Templars and the Dragons, just they don't, they don't get that. <laughs> An outsider comes in and not, is not only recruited, but is, is, is brought so far up. So now you know, the Templars are like, oh my gosh. The, the Illuminati are like, crap, we should have recruited him. Uh, and and uh, as far as the Krintokai itself, I would say they're, they're probably in a good place to... Uh, take the most advantage of the chaos that happened and as uh if kai if and when kai is rebuilt rebuilt they will they will probably have a much better uh footing on it than the other two gangs so which gives the dragon a much better footing on tokyo as a whole i am more interested now i'm making like mental notes to all the things i'm going to follow up on ophelia Vane, there you go it looks like you're going to have a lot more um lore fuel for that uh, particular character. That's pretty cool. Thank you. We also can't go upstairs. Somebody does another quest. Wah! There we are. And I scream. Don't scream when you have a squeaky voice. <laughs> QBO. <laughs> QBO. QBO. Ow. <laughs> you know, while we're in QBL, uh, it might be in my best interest to get rid of some of the news footage. <laughs> They just kind of right. cut some of that out. Media branch of Orochi. QBL Media. We are the world. Give me We've been 20 days long. on this floor. One of our favorite things is looking at, at these, uh, at the safety signs on the various floors and seeing how long it's been since the different companies had an accident. Oh, right, right. Um, I think maybe some of my favorite parts and, 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 and some, just some of the most grueling, actually, because it was kind of, it was a big reason why I was doing a lot of crunch writing at the end was uh, all that kind of filler text on the different floors to kind of give it life and give it kind of indirect stories just through the bits and pieces was the, the whiteboards, the signs, the stuff on the computers. You did a really good job because those are definitely the best Things, the whiteboards alone on uh, whatever one we did the other day just we were cracking me up with the ages um, acronym. Those yeah, so those turned out pretty good. Does oh yeah, good. I had fun with the acronyms. Oh. That was another uh, another another artifact of Joel. He wanted he wanted to make sure that those uh, he mentioned uh, make sure make sure you mention a the acronyms for them, but like they're all bad and you're not no one's sure w which one is the actual official one, if any. We got to the this is horrible one and it was just cracked up. It was fantastic. <laughs> Turns out it's relatively easy to come up with horrible an, uh, uh, acronyms. Indeed. This door is open. Look at all the ah, pictures. Ah, computers. Computer. I must use it. Are they rainbowy? I am so Please happy. Please ignore the voices in your mobile phone. There are no voices in your mobile phone. Forget this warning of the voices in your mobile phone. That became my new favorite warning, I think, in here. About the voices in your mobile phone. That is fantastic. All right. 
Yeah, uh, the, some of the warnings and memos and stuff. Uh, writing them, I could only hear it in the uh, voice of uh, the Welcome to Night Vale uh, uh, performer. For those that listen to that podcast, and if you and if you aren't, you should because it's very it's very TSW in that uh, just about every possible weird thing is true. Fantastic. I'm sitting here reading. Some host, right? What's in the archive video they found? Hmm. That's what I want to know. Can't be anything bad. <laughs> Nuance is dead. Oh, yeah. This is the tweet age. We don't know anything about Twitter, guys. Yeah. Oh. yeah. You know, possible commentary on the state of affairs. Okay, Josh, in 140 characters, can you distill the uh, totality of your beliefs and values for us, please? Uh, tentacles, ravens, skulls, pumpkin pie, transformers, thundercats. Fantastic. Again. Thundercats. <laughs> I'm good with that. I'm so ridiculously pleased with all this tonight. <laughs> Thundercats made it. He's just peered into my soul. Yes. <laughs> Your soul was full of Thundercats. That's fantastic again. All right, I need a new word. It surprised me. You've out fantastic <laughs> me. Oh my gosh, this is a breakthrough. Some serious soul surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> Do not panic. Do not panic. Um, someone in panic. Twitch chat wanted to know the Do voice actor on the panic. PA is the same person that plays Lilith. Or is actually supposed to be Lilith? Uh, same actress. Jen Lu of course, you know Lilith. Oh, Lilith awesome. Has an ego, so, maybe, oh, awesome. so maybe she went in there and was like, make it sound more like me. I don't know. <laughs> it's all possible. World, see She's this. It's had a long oh, time to build it. up an ego. Je suis Charlie. Yes. Oh, that was, that was Tilty's little touch, I imagine. The Ripple. Samuel Chandra, who is he? Yes, who is he indeed? Ah, uh, yes, he's, uh, well, he's Lilith's uh, husband, it seems, from way, way, way back. And uh, I guess since we're super spoilery, and uh, it's it's pretty much said here, he's one of the, uh, one of the rebelling angels from the original host. So Whatever the true nature type. of angels in this game happen to be. <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. We had, I was talking about this earlier. And, and I will try and make this as uncroaky as possible. But everybody is um, talking about how it is... It's the Nephilim, and he is the Samael, and it is the this and the this. And I keep thinking that these things have been here a lot longer than our particular set of religions and mythos. And I always see it as these extra-dimensional things of various types that we have kind of imprinted into our religions and our mythos. And so while we can get clues from it, um, that it's not like the handbook to this is who these people are. I, I wonder how right, far off right. I am. <laughs> well, it's like if we take a world uh, that's just totally science-based and a lightning bolt hits something um, and some cavemen see it, they, they make up something about a god. Well, in this world, it's kind of like that, but there are supernatural forces. But if you see that supernatural force, you're still going to make up, if you're you know, a primitive human, you're still going to make up things that may or may not be the actual case. So you might be making up myths about mythical things that aren't quite parallel to the actual mythical thing. This is, so you're telling me yes. that okay. Lilith isn't actually a centipede? <laughs> I can't confirm or deny that. <laughs> I'm Mind terrified now. Confirmed, guys. Confirmed, guys. Confirmed, guys. Not and a now, <laughs> everybody, everybody in stream chat, imagine the issue seven dance from a centipede. Oh, fact checking 101. <laughs> is that how you write? This is it. Yeah. Think of it as narrative checking. Does it fit a strong enough narrative? Does it fit a narrative that enough people will select as fact? If a video has a million hits on the internet, it's Please close enough to a fact. In your phone. There are no voices in your Which kind of phone. plays to the whole Forget this warning of the voices adopting into our mythos thing. Just how we do it now. Right. Very cool. 
Are you sure we're not all robots, though? Are you sure we're not all robots, though? It's possible. But the last bit there is actually from, uh, that's, a, that's a Lovecraft quote. Uh, for those of you on the stream who can't uh, see the text, let me see if I can get my camera gonna, in here. I'm going to put an user on this, because my reading skills tonight are Yeah. <laughs> She's usually reading all the all the text to everybody, but she can't all talk right. very much. So I can, so the can. oldest and strongest emotion of mankind is fear, and the... Uh, I can't see it now. And the strongest kind the strongest of fear kind. is of the unknown. Right. Is that a practice you like to uh, employ writing for TSW? Uh, definitely heavily Lovecraft influenced, or at least uh, cosmic horror, weird fiction influenced. So yeah, yeah, a bit of that. It's usually, um, it's the bits you don't show that are usually like the freakiest parts. I think that's true of a lot of things. Yeah. yeah, I think it's why. Think it's why <laughs> then the less you show, it, yeah. Well, yeah, it's the clothes you don't wear that's the scariest. I think our imaginations will will generally come up with something that is much more horrible than anything you're actually going to be shown. Right, right, and it's why um, uh, kind of that stipple storytelling, like like kind of like um, the stuff going on in here with the. Rather than telling a, a a direct narrative where you're you're finding bits and pieces in a computer or on a whiteboard, that works really well for horror because you have to connect. You get you know you get points A and B or maybe even just A and C, and you're left to imagine all the points in between, which I think was particularly effective for like uh, Fear Nothing. Dude, that potted plant just moved. What? what? Dun dun dun. <laughs> I didn't see it move. What? The one in here with the the hive mode whiteboard, it just moved. Oh, there it is! <laughs> the plants are not what they seem. What? There's spooks. There's spooks. That's actually um. I do believe in spooks. Oh my god! I've read a lot of okay, move. story. Okay, move. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did you just try to kill the plant? Oh, it's hive mode. Yes, I just tried to kill the plant. Oh, oh wow, it is moving. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> My gosh. What could it be? <laughs> <laughs> to be, uh... To be explained later in lore, who knows? That is now the most sinister thing in this tower. Yep. I think the, uh... I think it's yeah. safe to say that, uh, you guys have... You guys have outed my story and that the plant is is the uh, one behind Orochi Tower. <laughs> it's the fear of the unknown. <laughs> yes. Why is the, the plant, plant moving? <laughs> yeah, exactly, see? A werewolf, you I know, know, it's werewolf. scary and, to a And I thought he was on the that. moon. He's in the plants. Maybe the plants are the boss of him. I'm laughing at group chat that I'm not going to share. Um, do you guys remember Hive Mode? Twitch? Twitch yes. chat, wonderful hive mode. It was uh, um, it's the magazines that are laying around, and they did it through the, the Twitterverse. That right. plant's moving again. <laughs> um, so here's their working board for hive mode, post mundane fashion. Opening the yeah, third I'm, age of fashion. It, is is this supposed to be just an Easter egg reference, or is this implied that yes, this is just another initiative by by QBL? Yes, and yes. Ooh. We wanted we wanted to get some Easter eggs in there. Uh, we've got a few others uh, from uh, another one from the Twitter Twitter role playing got in there too uh, on a magazine cover somewhere. Okay. Yeah, I am. Okay. Why? Oh, go ahead. No, I'm scared of the plant. <laughs> <laughs> Chat says that this explains how all the first models for Hive Mode got killed. Yes, because right. right. of the oh, yeah. <laughs> plant is so scary. 
Alright, I'm coming down now. Alright, I'm... Scriv, I, I remember logging in. I didn't even know this was going on. And I get a tell from uh, Bryn Cree and uh, Alessa Fisher. Quick, come to Scorched Desert! Oh, oh, okay. Why are we okay. doing this? We're doing a photo shoot. Why? For Hive <laughs> Mode. But why? Guys. There's a... Why don't I see a ghost down? Yeah, that, thanks. Oh. It's floating by the door down there. Or it did. Ghost your psychic. Put your psychic on. They closed the door. It's a jerk ghost. Messing with plants wasn't enough. Oh, this door oh, now it's messing with flat. doors. Oh. Oh, it's in there. Oh, it's in there. Office memo, maybe about ghosts. Let's. I love there's that a there's a ghost here, yeah. in the other room, and we're like, let's read the computer. Wait, no lore. Okay. Oh, gosh, lore. Lore. read this magazine. Lore? Wait, where is everybody? The magazine. Magazine. Yeah, Steam magazine. magazine. In case you're wondering, script this this is how we play. <laughs> Running <laughs> in all directions. Cool. Lore is the most important thing. As long as lore is being screamed out. Oh, now I see. <laughs> yeah. Who's that handsome man on the cover? Oh yeah. Oh, there's the magazine. <laughs> I I remember the Midsummer Night's Dream thing. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to, uh, we had the magazine, we had some space on it. I was like, oh, 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 I gotta get a picture of that and, uh, and at least make a reference back to it. Me being on there was totally, totally the, the artist's call. I, uh, my ego's not that big. Not yet. I can sit here and leave it on screen for a few minutes if that'll help. With the ego so nice <laughs> I think it's pretty awesome. Lifeform Z772 has escaped its enclosure. Um, ha the hat's... Died, we apologize for any inconvenience. Go ahead. I bet Lifeform Z772 is the plant. Really? Now I'm afraid oh, of the that... plant more. Yeah. Plant. One, one never knows. Celebrities that left the morning light is making me laugh. Just, uh, <laughs> a little nod to Elrond there. I, I may have watched the HBO documentary recently. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yes, yes. I think Rishi said there was a, a question from chat. Oh, right, right. There was. Oh, uh, let me find it again. Uh, someone wanted to know if uh, there was going to be any more expanding story on the Fey in Secret World. Uh, that is a perhaps. There's um, some storylines we have that kind of go away from the uh, uh, the, the, the the main Orochi filth kind of uh, direction and into some uh, various mythologies. So um, very possible. I'm not exactly sure uh, where we. So we've got uh, we've got this sort of outline of the story, and it's very modular. So we can really play with where certain pieces go, depending on uh, what we need to do at the time. But um, yeah, I'd like to get into some uh, some more mythologies, including uh, including the Fae, including some uh, some British Isle stuff, maybe. Well, we will see. Okay, upcoming children's book titles are the very best. The little bee that couldn't. <laughs> the ABCs of monster slaying. Find Emma, Tilty's Big Day Out, <laughs> The Quokka Detective, <laughs> Evan's Quest, <laughs> and Zalgo. <laughs> Zalgo, Zalgo. <laughs> oh, really? The Do Not Panic was well timed there. I did. I like the sad yeah. beat in the, the erased behind it. Oh yeah, I didn't notice that before. <laughs> There's a teddy bear on the other oh. side. Yeah, they uh, they did some nice details on you know like I would write a lot of the text for the dry erase boards and like suggest some things, but uh, but but others put in the uh, the heart and soul of the dry erase board. Okay, the little bee that couldn't the picture. I want to read the Quokka Detective so bad. The Quokka Detective. 
Yeah, <laughs> Quokka, Quokka <laughs> Detective it? is best detective. Yeah, yeah, I need to write that and definitely tilt these big day out. <laughs> oh, I see, I see a nice uh, insanity-inducing uh, Zalgo text on the on the chat. Zalgo. Yeah. Oh, well done, Shez. Well done. I'll have to be sure to edit this video for a change and uh, make that an appropriate moment. Oh, and someone mentioned the ABC of Monster Slaying. Uh, that's that's a favorite of mine too, which you can go find in the uh, in the uh, tree fort. That is right. Hirochi are scrupulous. I love that the pitch has um, to, for the book has to be a hundred words or less, and the pitch for the merchandising strategies is five hundred words or less. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a very very real detail. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, ABC's of Monster Sling was one of our uh, one of our uh, Twitterverse experiment things. Uh, we had people draw monsters and send them in. We we kind of did it as a mission um, over Twitter, not not within the game itself uh, originally. But we hinted at we, we we gave some examples. So Tilty and I actually drew some of the monsters that are in it. Uh, we drew uh, I don't know three or four just to give players the uh, the idea of what they were supposed to turn in. The, their characters, role-playing wise, were going out to look for these missing pages uh, uh, for Danny uh, Dufresne, uh, and uh, uh, what they, what, what the players themselves were doing was was just drawing them. And it was, a, I liked it because it was an art contest that everyone could participate in because everyone can draw a child-level monster. Even yeah, tilting. folks right? got a real, a even real tilting. Out of that. They really enjoyed it. I have yeah. art in the game. That's awesome I, I you know I know some people who are gonna see this hopefully do not play yet and will be playing and it, it speaks both to the really incredible and creative community but also to how much you inspire them with the stuff that you guys write and do um, people just pick it up and run with it I, all of these little things with the hive mode stuff with the with the monster the monster thing was fantastic Watching the submissions for that was just crazy to watch them fly by on Twitter. Um, it, I've never seen an interaction like this. I've seen fanfic. I've seen, I mean, I'm a role player. I've seen role play in lots of different settings. That sounds terrible. Trust me. Um, I have seen all of this stuff before. I have never seen, and maybe it's because it's a modern day setting, but I, I still think it's just how much this thing that you've created and written has inspired everybody is people just pick it up and make it real for themselves and and contribute to it and give back to it and try to add to it it's yeah all right climbing down off soapbox well thank you thank you <laughs> thank you uh, it's definitely back and forth because i mean we get fed by you guys because uh, you're so enthusiastic because like during the twitterverse stuff um you know that was all mostly after hours stuff that we were doing and we were just enthusiastic about it because everyone else was so enthusiastic about it which made it fun and uh, yeah, it was a personal touch. We liked it because it was a, a unique thing we could do. You know, I mean, there's there's things there's things that that World of Warcraft can do that we can't do, and there's things that we do that uh, that hopefully uh, is unique to this experience. And, and that was it was hopefully one of them. I'm seeing a lot of uh, we want Twitter Twitterverse back in the chat. Um, I will hopefully be doing some more of that soon. Um, I can't promise when they'll be like the puzzles the way they were before. It just eats a lot of man hours that we we don't have at the moment, but I can at least uh, get back into the seat with some of the characters and introduce one or two more coming in, and then we'll we'll see what, what happens from there. Maybe I can recruit a few more people uh, amongst the devs. Speaking as one of the participants, uh, you know, running around uh, being Frank Calhoun's pilot, uh, even when it's just stepping in briefly as the the NPCs and helping the universe to be a little more lived in that's that is still very much appreciated that's still a very cool thing oh uh, yeah yeah definitely players. like to do that even even if there's yeah even if there's no puzzles or missions or whatever it's still something we very much enjoy in, in case there's any doubt yeah and yeah uh, um and that's in and, and, and you know the puzzles are great and everything but uh uh that's definitely um what we set out to do is that uh, you know we're not you guys are the ones that create the Twitterverse. We, uh, yeah, we just add those characters in, and that kind of maybe gives it a little more feeling of uh, legitimacy and, and immersion when you see those those familiar faces. But uh, yeah, yeah, we should be doing more of that. And yeah, others have played uh, the characters. When it started out, um, 
uh, one of our devs, Tanya Short, uh, she's not with us right now, but uh, uh, she's the one that uh, uh, put forth the initiative for the Twitterverse, and it was me, her, and another writer that started that, and, and, and over time we've gained other people. Uh, Tilty's, Tilty's played some characters, uh, uh, Quokka played a, a character, uh, we've, we've had a few people step in for different characters and stuff. Um, but yeah, we uh, we should be doing more of that, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, adding a certain dragonish person maybe sometime in the future, because uh, because uh, mm -hmm. he should be on Twitter. Oh, oh well, yeah. that would be the kitten's ankles. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually waited way back when because people would be like, you know, why don't the dragons get any love? And and, and and the main reason originally was when we started it, it was just we just picked out a few characters that it made sense they had we seen playing on the smartphones all the time particularly Geary and uh, Saeed so it wasn't really about trying to get all the factions represented but then it kind of filled out and then we had Sonic and and people wanted a dragon character and I was waiting for Diamond but at the time you, none of you guys knew who Diamond was yet so I couldn't like I couldn't say uh, it's for this guy um, but now hopefully I can get back to that now that I'm I'm under a, a slightly saner schedule so uh, so hopefully we will see him pretty soon Hooray! I'm just trying to keep up with chat right now. I'm looking at us. By the way, bringing Saeed up there, <laughs> you won my heart early on having a uh, character who's an Egyptology student. That was that was well played. Thank you. But everybody out here <laughs> every is like, I, I can't even, I can't scroll fast enough. People, Brenda was saying that TSW is a main inspiration for art. Neckbro said his house is covered with Illuminati stuff. I mean, they're just... I was, well, everyone's house is covered. We'll scroll the love at you later. When you watch this. <laughs> it's just whether you know about it or not. Yeah, it's all it's all Illuminati. Really? We're all terrible people. <laughs> We're all terrible people. But man, see, yeah, seeing the creativity of everyone, especially in the uh, IMTSW contest stuff, like uh, I, I love cosplay uh, stuff. Seeing, what? The, seeing no! the costumes was awesome. Ah! After you got uh, eaten by a little girl, what? What? I am over here by myself. What is? It's not a parking garage. Stop. Why? You'd rather be the there. Hell? Trust Why? Me. No, you gawked me. Oh god. Okay. I'm sorry. I need a moment. No, the, the the chat's great. This is like this is like in Aliens when the when the uh, Marines are getting slaughtered. <laughs> Come out of the goddamn walls! <laughs> <laughs> Why are there Gecky? Game over, man. Game over. That's what I mean, I was it was all of us. That was everybody. I'll, I'll just count that up. Why, Scriv? Why? This is not a parking garage. This is outside their preferred habitat. Is this why you bastards... I mean, my loving chat sent me here, Kaz. I remember the people who told me to go to this floor. <laughs> if you sent me to God, yeah, I will Jim? get you Spooky later. Children. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I was alone in a hallway when a suddenly gawky. They were indeed coming. Yeah, that's okay. The rest of us were together in a, together in a hallway when Maybe suddenly gawky. Here. It didn't help. <laughs> Maybe they're afraid of the moving plant. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened is I started talking and started staring at the same time, and you guys got ahead of me. So, in case nobody noticed, there were there were scary little girls. Oh, here's the oh god, I can see. Whoa! You should be in here! Oh god. Wait. Where's here? I was stuck ah, on a. Uh... Had the person not gone mad while writing that, you guys would have seen what all the titles of all the future uh, issues would have been. It's too bad. What? So I walked into this room. What? And suddenly, etheric vortex papers flying everywhere, stuff flying everywhere. Terrifying. As, as Hooser quickly leaves the room. The <laughs> I'm running away. Wait, this is the sacred book of all the upcoming issues? All the issues are. No, it's back over here. Oh. It would have been. It's the whiteboard back here. It's a white. It's a whiteboard. Oh, okay. So does this mean that the Arachi are producing the Secret World video game? Do we just That's break right. the fourth wall? We did. See, that's why they can't go too far ahead, because they have to actually watch what happens. I'm having a space balls moment. There might be a Yeah, it's yeah. space balls. <laughs> we're, wa we're watching now, now. 
If you guys are Arachi, does that mean I have to send progressively less thank you fruit every time I send thank you fruit? Because are they just gonna you, you're not gonna like drop like flies or anything, right? Y yes, but did no. you guys yeah, you can, you can see the, the magazine okay. over here? Oh, I missed the magazine. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, a Rochi Sports Illustrated champion. Oh, was that champions? That's where I was, <laughs> when you guys. I forgot about that one. I've lost you entirely. Base stealing secrets. We are back in the room next to the whiteboard room. And now everyone is going to demand an Orochi Black Sox uniform. That's right. Really? At the pose with the bat? Really? <laughs> really? It's Orochi, I don't know what to say. You, you saw their, 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 their theories on, uh, on news and such. That's oh, fantastic. Again, fanta I didn't need a new word. You have broken fantastic for me. That is what you have done. Everything was too fantastic. Now I need a new word. A superlative to fantastic. <laughs> so, Sam, um, you want to you wanna walk down that hallway? No, wait, let me, let me. No. This <laughs> <laughs> we'll let Jen go first. walk in the hallway. I got this. Suddenly she doesn't want to walk on that one. See, this is why you need dragons. This is why we need dragons, yes. That's what we established dragons. Do not panic. Do not panic. Do not panic. Do not panic. Ah, that friggin' plant moving around again. Panic. Panic. Do not panic, guys. Panic. The assertive voice and the passive voice. That's right. So the English lesson. The planter geist is a new creature now. The planter geist. I like that. Oh, I can't see that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's it's blocking my view now. It doesn't want me to learn English. It's, it's trying to keep me ignorant. It's it's become mean. It's uh, yeah. It doesn't want you to get the info. Stop it. Clearly our issue is we just don't know which ages to equip to deal with the planter geist. Oh, that's pretty fantastic. Yeah, Assertive voice and passive voice. Bad. <laughs> the Queen of Denmark has died today. Cause of death has not been officially, officially released. Better. The Queen of Denmark died today. Assassins have not been ruled out by officials. Best. The Queen of Denmark died today. Assassins remain at large. <laughs> It's all the same news story. That's the theory of clickbait, style. yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, active voice is good. That's the active voice lesson turned to evil. I was gonna say. <laughs> they said I couldn't make an English lesson used for evil, and I said, I'll show you, I'll show you all. I, I like that you used yeah, passive voice. It because yeah, so many times having to rewrite we things for Jack. meeting minutes. I, found you. I had been using the passive voice. Exactly. Oh lord, I think I missed one before. I must have already had it. Beware the planter geist. The planter geist is now my favorite. Um. I've probably said it before in the stream, I'll say it now. The post-it notes made me really happy. I'm going to keep talking about the post-it notes. Because the fact that Orochi had corporate post-it notes and they're on everything was just such a, a real <laughs> touch for me. That, oh, hey, look. Yeah, it was neat, it was neat get, getting, the, getting the real touches in there. Uh, helps ground the, the horrible, fantastic things that are going on. Scrib, is there any uh, story-related reason Am why lost? QBL is spooks, or is it just we need spooks? Wait, I missed that part. What was that? Is there any particular reason, uh, like, you know, certain floors have the combat drones, and certain floors have escaped, whatever. Why is QBL spooks, or is it simply this is just the spook floor? 
this might have something to do with the uh, team meeting we, we read about earlier. Oh. So push on ahead. Oh, worst team meeting ever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those happen. Attention employees, we are now all ghosts. Oh. So we need to start killing things if we are ever going to let Scrib out of the tower. This was our plan all the time, is we're never letting you out. Uh, we, 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 we've had team meetings like that here. Boss time. So wait, does that mean bent is a medium? What what? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, that's awesome. Look at the screen. Let's watch it. Oh, oh. That's awesome. Also, there's Lori. Z772 has escaped its enclosure. Please hide yeah, I, I hadn't seen the screen yet. For any inconvenience. Oh god, why? True science. And this should be full of factual information. Indeed. Yeah. Actually, that that this magazine actually brings up another question. Uh, we noticed that the uh, the vending machines in here are Zagan. Uh, why not Bingo? That is interesting. Um, I'm trying to remember if that story we got to. Uh, just a moment. back now, but um, Zagan is the Orochi drink. Bingo is something else. Uh, you know, you just made a lot of people happy because there are folks who have been <laughs> arguing back and forth on that for a while. It was one of the things uh, we wanted to get more into on one of the floors here that, that didn't quite go in, but yeah, yeah. Uh, Orochi's desperate to find out why everyone loves Bingo. Could it, could it, be, a, could it be a special ingredient? It, it, just, it just might be. <laughs> I mean, the Phil seems to love it when it gets on Yuichi's pants. I was gonna say. That's okay. very true. Maybe the filth just loves pants. Or what's the filth attracted to? <laughs> That's true, we have to Please. remove all the variables. Okay, what's the filth attracted Not to other than <laughs> Yuichi's pants? <laughs> By variables, I mean pants. We have to remove all the pants. Somewhere Blue Rabbit just made a happy sound. Yes, he, he has no idea why right now, but he's just very pleased. <laughs> We're going to Faust. Did you guys leave me? You did. I was left behind. Yes. Sorry, I think we've lost Hebs. Aw, oh, poo. Poor who's. It's okay, we lost Scrooge in there too, somewhere. There we go. So, why is Orochi promoting people seated in the Kumiko Hotel? That's a good question. Um... Dr. <laughs> Dr. Jin... It was that Dr. Jin... Uh, I forget the rest of his name. No, no, on, uh, it's, there's, a, there's a science magazine. Star. magazine. Oh, right, right. Um, well, he just might be, uh, you know, he's the subject of an actual story. Um, but yeah, uh, whether that's for a nefarious reason or just because he's part of, you know, he's, he's, he's an authority in his field. Uh, These people aren't say? dead. They aren't. What's the lore behind oh, these living Orochi? 
<laughs> I think you missed something here. These guys are yeah, all supposed right. to be dead. I didn't. Yeah, that's actually just an animation glitch. They're they're supposed to all be dead. <laughs> yep. No. Some. Uh, the cool thing about Orochi Tower is we got to show people who are like actual people and not just mad scientists and world dominating monsters and things. Uh, and the other thing is that, you know, not all Orochi personnel are dead. You just get to see a lot of the ones that went to a horrible end at their various outposts and stuff. Although, I, I don't know that these people have a much better uh, uh, existence right now. I don't think so. According to this whiteboard. I, I, I worked at an entry, so... Eh. <laughs> I was going to say, they, they work in an office building. They're probably dead inside. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Rishi. You, you, you so, <laughs> <laughs> so they still they still fit in Orochi lore, you know. You just have to expand your definition of dead. Okay, th this office is like every office I've ever worked in. Charge will change from gray to a slightly darker gray next week. Remember to vote on Bic <laughs> or paper made for office pens. We are now allowed two what? personal objects per desk. And adequate <laughs> work, everyone. Maintain pace. Yeah. Very extremely adequate. Now we have to see and figure out who's breaking the rules and has three personal Thank objects. <laughs> this tells me that none of them actually the other noticed anything was happening. It's the average office. Yeah. Which, when you think about bastards. it, this in some ways is the creepiest floor of all. Yeah, yeah, I always thought so. It's kind of uh, the world is ending, the man. Saddest. Yeah, they don't know. The Anansi yeah, floor is it Beta? Um, I think we were in that has the uh, where you go in and they all thank you for uh, doing the research for them. Doing the research for them. All right, yeah, you're not you're not I the enemy to all Orochi. You're, they're excited. It's like the superheroes came in and they're just like, oh man, thanks for the data. It's like, oh, all that H's XP I got, it went somewhere. People are grateful. Uh, yeah. This guy's dead. Uh-oh. Is he the guy who shattered the glass? Until further notice, Casual Friday has been suspended, given last week's incident. We would also oh, like to remind anyone dead. that shatterproof glass has been installed in every window. If you suffer from any self-destructive thoughts, please speak to one of our in-house counselors at once. <laughs> Remember when I said this was the creepiest floor of all? And nobody else cared. Yeah. Yeah, there may nope. be a guy who just died at his yeah. desk. He didn't even care he was dying. They didn't care that he was dying. Wow. Where's this dead guy? Where are you guys? Running around looking for the dead guy. You. Oh, more dead people. Oh, I see are live people. Are you sure? They are way ahead of us. The chairs, very close. Chairs. Yes, I'm very sure. Are they in the chairs? Yep. These guys are, are way ahead of us. So Perhaps we'll, we'll, we'll wait for you here. Who's there? Hit somebody over the head here. I feel cheated. <laughs> I can here, fix the I, fact I there's no dead people here. in here. Oh, lore. What? Oh, I didn't see that lore. You must have missed a lore. Lilith lore. Oh, this one is dead. Oh, yeah, okay. He's got a sad face on his computer. <laughs> I feel like he should oh. click the sad face. Sad face. I recognize those uh, happy, uh, 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 neutral, sad face. That's that's from one of our programs. When you shut it off, you let them know. You let it. You let it know how your session went. That's even, <laughs> that's even, that's even creepier now. I I, I, I I turn that thing on and off almost every day. <laughs> it needs a dead that's face. A... Now I feel uncomfortable. A dead face. Several <laughs> X's on the eyes. Like the Smiler bot. Neckbro's losing it. He too has used those. 
Yeah, how much pain are you in? Yes, Worm, that is really what those remind me of. On a scale of one to ten. I forgot to watch the plants. I'm getting complacent. <laughs> <laughs> Day 131. Forgot to watch the plants. Oh, it's got Foss as the top floor. So we get to do this again. I kind of like when you get them in, in sequence like that. I was hoping we were going to get uh, Anansi. Uh, that's been for one so far. I like that one too. Oh, the, uh, the AI? Oh, no, I didn't do that. Yeah. One. We did Anansi one. Oh, that's right. Yeah. What did we kill? Nothing. This is just... This is just a, a, a floor operating as normal. With a couple of dead people. With a couple of dead people, but apparently that's no normal No one's too. noticed! I don't even... <laughs> oh, that's Orochi. Oh, actually. Uh, Scriv, can I ask you about Foul sure. Alpha? Sure. Which, refresh me which one that was. Uh, Faust Alpha, um, you you have a vault at the end, just like here. This is only a test. Uh, there, do, 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 you, do you remember there's a certain sentence. item? It's not in this one, but on Faust Alpha Vault, there is a, a certain item that we almost had in our possession and then was taken from us, and it's in the vault. Uh, I'm not sure. That might that's either something that's escaping me or something I wasn't in on. This is... we're all about spoilers, right, Jen? I'm allowed to say it. I didn't play it yet, is what he's trying to say. I give you permission. Go ahead. You, you're, you go around all the little safes on Faust Alpha, and one of them is open, and it appears that the staff of Atanakin is in the safe. Really? Oh. Yeah, because they took it at the end, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, yeah, that's something that was... Uh... That wasn't any of the story bits that uh, that I was working on for the floors. Okay. That would have been a tilty thing, yeah. I, I, I saw it and said, I want that! That should be mine! Jen's gonna have a total meltdown <laughs> in character, it'll be fantastic. I, I, I became the seagull from uh, Finding Nemo. Mine? Mine? Are we here? We're not here. We need a script. We're not here. Yeah, I'm told the uh, the staff was a uh, part of various plots. Uh, Irochi got it, and the dragon have made. Did you cut out accidentally, or did you cut out uh, intentionally? No, the, the dragon just showed up and apparently silenced <laughs> the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here, I promise. I promise. Sorry, there are, um, I'm, I'm surrounded by men in dark suits right now. Ooh. I'm just, um, they're not saying anything. I don't even think they're breathing. <laughs> And there's no eyes behind their glasses. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna make no sudden movements, and we'll just continue as if uh, as if, if as if nothing happened. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Well, that'll be all for tonight's interview with the guy who we know nothing about and have never seen or heard from. <laughs> it's nice no, seeing you. No, no, no. Do not panic. Do, Do not, not panic. panic. Do Everything is fine. Panic. Tell tell my family I love them. Panic. Panic. Why do you know? <laughs> tell my spiders I love them. The spiders were hiding dragon. 
Wait, uh... <laughs> what? What, what? We need a mo You know what? I need an AFK moment. If nobody minds, this would be a really good time for me to sneak AFK and <laughs> try to breathe briefly, so... Go for it. You guys just... You, you, you sort yourselves. I'll be right back. I'm gonna do the same thing. I think we did break Scriff. He's just died. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> well, I'm while seeing you're a in question. Downtime, uh, mm -hmm. uh, how about talking a little bit about the, uh, it was my favorite floor, the Anansi Omega one with Amy. Right, um, that one is uh, that's a, uh, it's a it's a poor, innocent yet deadly uh, uh, artificial intelligence that was um, named after my girlfriend, actually, just spelled differently. But uh, um, uh, Amy, um, I got the concept for it, uh, the description of what the floor would be. Um, her, her voice is based on actually. Um, you guys could probably Google it, but um, there someone did a, a, a an experiment recently by giving um, uh, Mario in, in the original Super Mario games like this artificial intelligence, and, and they, they used it to it, the character would learn as it was moving around the the world, and it would say things like, you know, uh, if it didn't know something for sure, it'd be like, if I jump on a Goomba, then maybe it dies, and if it did it many more times, it'd be like, if I jump on a Goomba, then it definitely dies. Just these really creepy phrases. So uh, that went into uh, that. That played a big part of Amy's voice. So more an actual artificial intelligence played into that than the uh, than the standard, um, you know, like uh, 2001 Space Odyssey references. See, someone in chat is asking about. I lost it. Tina Markinson from the so called Media Res, which is QBL related. Um. Not sure I have so many character names in my head. Uh, let me see. I am back. I, I need to say that I am giggling so hard when I'm not keyed in right now that I am actually have been reduced to drinking honey directly from the bear. That is how bad to try and keep my throat in. <laughs> that's, that's how you get your anima. And, see. I feel like that should be a, a description of something. And drink the honey directly from the bear. It sounds wrong, doesn't it? It does. It feels so right, though. All right. Um, Sam? There you go. Okay. Well, I was holding the door for him. Yeah. You're a good guy, Sam. Indeed. More Faust. Everybody's still here? Still employed? All good? Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, uh, Shazda uh, says that Tina Markinson is one of the employees listed on the Orochi homepage search engine. She, she's just a random Orochi employee. Oh, okay. Um, I was okay. Um, I am not positive that it's possible. It's in the details. Come now, indulge your curiosity. See the doors I have to show you. I was actually just looking through all the names. I thought maybe it was one of the things, one of the people mentioned in all the various memos in the tower or something. Experience life unending or passion unlimited. Which door do you choose? I. Because not even a little sinister. 
Pretty sure uh, I got that. Let's go for this one. Sam needs love. Who wants to live forever? <laughs> hey, already we're, all, we're already gonna live forever. <laughs> no, don't start because we know we can die. And now, now's the part where uh, Scribner Master says, Oh, are you? Oh, are you? Oh, it's better when he says it. I <laughs> know. <laughs> I'm trying not to be concerned by the fact that Scriv is uh, still staying in the elevator. Uh, n n no reason. Go, go on ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, guys, totally safe. No, guys, totally safe. Totally safe. Totally safe. Okay. Totally safe. Love is I'm a get real danger. I'm guarding this, uh, this dangerous elevator. Here I go. So Lilith can't, you know, like, get us from above. Ow. Oh god. Oh, because demons files. Why wasn't I thinking? Faust, it's in the details. That is my favorite saying for one of these. a succubus truly loved you with illimitable fervor. But her kind know no other way to express the unutterable. Razor sharp fossils. <laughs> Who's there? You just have endless succubus problems. I'm just gonna say that. Oh, did uh, you see did. it? Did you see it talk to us? It did. It thanked us. <laughs> you are a good person. I am glad. I don't even think you know what you're looking for, but that is my specialty. I don't play. I know the things people don't even know they want. I don't know what I'm looking for. Oh, we're looking for a key card. I know exactly what we're looking for. <laughs> I would like a key card, please. I'm enjoying the furniture. That's, that's not how this works. <laughs> also, some kebabs. <laughs> kebabs. Do you guys have lore here too? Do you guys have lore here? Lore? Mitsubachi Where? Lore. Mitsubachi lore. No, I have that one already. So we're, we're all standing, Magic. You probably already have it. I didn't already have it. Oh, okay. Oh, these guys already have it. No, I mean Badger. Yeah. You guys get lore. I oh, get God. jelly beans. <laughs> jelly beans. Are they like anger jelly beans? No. Flavors of rage. To rule your reality with no. either croissants or wealth. They taste like Flavors despair. Or or do you <laughs> they look scenario the power. Let's grab it. Yeah, it's a scenario power up. I want to take it. Okay. Okay. Clearly, we... yes, this is the one. Jen's already filthy rich. GPS boost. I worry about choices in this game. And mattering. We need like a shepherd's crook and pull him along. <laughs> and just get him on slash follow. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Mad Lyric says she wants her noodles. I think one of these doors should be free noodles for life. <laughs> Peace oh. on earth in your time or noodles for life, life, life. Noodles. <laughs> oh yeah, noodles. Choice is clear. Oh, yeah. About noodles. I was promised noodles. 
at Susan News when this was all over. When this was all over. That's right, that's right. Well, maybe, maybe he was speaking more like biblically. What the? Our biblical Maybe we noodles. Make a forum thread. What are biblical noodles? Well, you know, like, 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 like when this is like apocalyptically over, maybe. Due to oh no, he said free noodles, noodles for life. I don't know. I'd take it up with him. Last time I tried to take something up with Akashi, he, uh, he tried to kill me. That wasn't a dream. Yeah. Was it was a dream player. He, he's a gruff dude. He's a gruff dude who owes me noodles. I know, I know. Uh, Literalness is so <laughs> Really? Really? <laughs> really? I have a battery. It's I worth 29 Yay! We have power now. We wow, that's power. that's quite a battery. Those aren't cheap. That's top of the line. That was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my name? The Hebrews called me distributor. They also what? called me liar. <laughs> they actually called me falsehood plasterer, but I remember it being prettier when they said it. Oh, Lord, Lord. Lord. There's always room for lore. That's the last of my Mitsubishi lore. You know, this, uh, this lore says I should ask the buzzing about the hive. That's interesting. <laughs> it's almost if John's teasing you something so far in the future that it's just going to be an annoying tick in your ear. Like, like those, um, kind of like a, a, like a sanctuary of secrets token or something. Yeah, yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. So before we move on, since I think most of our questions are going to be related to this floor as we discover things, can you say how long this, this hive has been around? Mm, no, I can't. <laughs> that was the best I can question. I can say it's it's been around. According to John, but you know, he's a dirty liar. Although maybe that's unfair. John John likes to say truths that'll like break your head. Maybe he's not as much. Yeah, there's there's stuff about the hive elsewhere that has nothing to do with him. Oh really? Well then. That's multiple sources, so uh, yeah, it, 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 I'd say it's around somewhere. Apparently, they're, uh, the wardens are uh, not incorruptible. Submitting nope. Your nope. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. Well, might be a, might yeah. Be Rochi may or may not have done business. Give you the mind or at least someone had a Rochi. Which door do you choose? Musical Music. talent, guys? Is that what we want? It yeah. gets us more women. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I can't argue with that logic. <laughs> hey, get in here, Jen. Get in here, Jen. <sighs> Don't you want more women? I'm thinking back to uh, to college, undergrad, you know, and the the one guy on the floor that knows how to play the guitar, and every girl. Wants that to guy with the guitar. guitar. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, I recall that guy. Oh, God. What? I've had the strangest desire lately to take up the ukulele late in life. Wow, that is rough. I don't even. I 
I can't even make notes for that, let's see. I lost my flute. I threw it away. Whoops. I don't need a flute. I have a battery! I could probably tell you what it is at this point. <laughs> she has us putting the answer in uh, chat. Oh, I put it away too! Crap. How do we get it back? We don't. I don't know. I don't think we do. Oh, there it is. Where it is. How'd you get it back? I moved. In and out of the circle, maybe? Oh, yeah. We're out of the room and back in. It respawns it, Princess. Alright, so should I cheat? I think maybe we can't get it because we failed too many times. Yeah. So we don't seem to be doing anything. No oh, matter what I play. Open. That's easy. This is the point. I'm unkindly portrayed. I always play fair. I give warning. I read every bit of fine print aloud. I told Johan what he was getting into. I even warned him not to do it. What's now in the face of eternity? But they all go through it anyway, just like you. Who's Johan? Bach? Yeah. Oh, I don't like the thing that's in the window. Uh, oh. Uh, mm. Oh. No. I really do. I hate brutishness. I despise rudeness, and you have been such a wonderful guest. But I owe my own favors. There are contracts that bind me. Some ale sales I just now saw it on the stream. No I am more sophisticated than this, and you deserve better, but this will get brutish. Uh. That's a lot of dead Orochi. It's something no one has ever uttered before. Sarcasm. Just wait until everyone gets here, apparently. I don't... Did we get close to this? About to lock him out. My devs never get a free moment when they're in the game. Whoa, hello. Yikes. So, that whole files thing was pretty literal. Right then. It's in the details. Still it turns my favorite out. thing. More so now. <laughs> I like it because it's such an obvious pun, but like it sounds like something a bank could have on it. It does. Yeah, and there's... The evil goes hand in hand with the evil there, I think. No, banks aren't evil.
All right. All right. To the top, then. Cutscene time, maybe? I am getting so squeaky. Wow. Okay. Oh, no cutscene. Elevator music. Yeah, you're not great by ages. Be with you in a second. Really? So now I'm not even sure when we get up there if I want to ask, so I'll ask now before we let you escape. Um, mm -hmm. So, at the end of this, which, since we're spoiling, we're about to do, we see that Damon has made a big jump to the top. He seems yes. to be in charge of what is left of Orochi Tower. Kind of. Someone did not pick up the mission. Well, at the very least, uh, uh, the assaults left the tower uh, pretty vulnerable. So I'm sure, I'm sure him and the current Tokai are taking advantage of uh, getting a few things that they maybe normally couldn't get into an Orochi stronghold to get. Like the Gaia engine that Lilith tells us she brought. Oh. Let's see what I did there. Possibly. Yeah, yeah, there may be more on that coming soon. Oh, yeah. Okay. People are saying, I don't understand, the dragon didn't seem to come out on top, and I'm going, there's me! I mean, she said she's got a, but there's a, oh my god. Yeah, okay. So, more to go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the dragon didn't, like, when they don't own Tokyo now, and, and no one else does, it's, it's, um... It's more the other factions are freaking out because they feel like the dragon. So the other two, fa like the Templars and the uh, and the Illuminati, they've kind of been used to for centuries seeing the world as you know, we're each other's main enemies to you know to get influence over the world. And the dragon is this other weird X factor, that, you know, not not to be taken lightly, but it, they just seem to be doing their own weird thing. And after Tokyo, it's like, oh my gosh, they're the the dragons also getting actual practical influence on the world and uh, and they're just more freaking out um, Geary's Geary's uh, uh, superiors are mad at her because uh, they think she must have picked the wrong uh, person to back uh, and Betta seemed like the right choice and now uh, Diamond seems to be the one more on top of things um, and then as far as the Templars go that's almost more a political thing um, Sonic kind of leads this this uh, the new the new youth uh, the new blood of the uh Templars, he's kind of the face of it, and there are factions within the Templars that we haven't seen much of yet, uh, the Old Guard, that want him to fail at any cost, and they want to make sure it looks like that, so they might be selling it a little too hard on the dragon, you know, winning Tokyo uh, as just a, a way to um, be jerks to him, but, uh, uh, yeah, the... Uh, the dragon just picked the the gang that is 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 more on top of things with with the chaos going on in in Tokyo, and we'll we'll see a little more on why the uh, the current Tokai had a leg up on that. I am excited. We were trying to figure out why we got an out of sync warning, so I think we're okay. Got some strange warning. It said you were so and so. Just scrolled through and said everybody's out of sync and may not get mission credits. So. Oh, I see yeah, someone asking. So in the. Team. Someone's asking. Templar scene when Dom Julia shows up in the doorway. Can we interpret that as her calling off Pit and Pendulum? Uh, yes, yes. I mean, you can interpret why. Um, I mean, she is kind of part of the old guard, but uh, she may have a, more of a soft spot for uh, Sonic and. Uh, uh, that's a little moment to just show how badass she is. Pit and Pendulum are scary guys, but uh, they see Madame Julia clear her throat and they clear her out of the room. Don't mess with the dame. I didn't feel like it was pity. I honestly felt like it was making a point. That was. <laughs> oh, that could be. That could be too. Mostly, uh, yeah. Mostly just showing. Uh, showing her level of control there. Excellent. I'd love yeah, and, I, and when they say old guard, they're like really old. Oh, yeah, some of them are, yeah. So, yeah, so um, the kind of point we're getting at to in the plot is you've, you've only seen a little bit of each of the factions. Uh, the faction handlers um, aren't, you know, they aren't top, they're mid-management, you know, at best. Of, uh, specific, they have specific roles, but there's, 
there's scary things beyond that in each of the the factions and they're not you know they're they're scary groups in their own right and now the players just kind of get to a point where um, those are going to become more apparent now things like pit and pendulum and, uh, and, and references to the talking heads of gear and, you know why her nose started bleeding the second they were mad at her you know i actually remembered from that cutscene uh, there was a little thing in the Twitterverse where that actually happens to Geary during an argument with the Eye. Oh. I assume she this was a, a brain yeah, ship. It's an email. And yeah, it's an email with an attachment that gives her a bloody nose by the talking heads basically saying, take this to official channels. Of your every step betrays it. In a certain <laughs> Milton-esque light, you may be correct. But your white hat is stained. Your secret society is in the old business of domination. You are the intruder here. Oh, that's a good point. Someone says, I guess that's why Sonic respectfully bows to Dom Julia, but openly mocks Pit and Pendulum. Yeah. I mean, he's probably has enough physical fear of Pit and Pendulum, but less respect. But he definitely respects Dom Julia, whether or not uh, they're seeing eye to eye on something. Fig, that's a good question. I have an out of sync buff. I am slightly displaced from my time stream and events that I participate in may not affect my own mission progress. What does your mission currently say? Proceed to the penthouse elevator. Okay, you seem to be yep, stuck back in. the same thing I am now, yeah, so I think we're good. Okay. I think we're just erroneously getting errors. This does not have to be adversarial. I do not wish to see this planet destroyed any more than your masters do. I put a lot of work on it. Let me be about my business. I have been at it much longer than you. I gotta say, they, they took the combat music out of this uh, in, in the patch notes. I guess it was today or was it yesterday? And it makes the whole place so much creepier. It's just quiet. <laughs> it's so creepy now with just him talking. There is no dissuading you. Shall we use the opportunity to conduct an experiment? What happens when you set an irresistible force against an immovable object? Let's find out. Did you ever wonder why so many Orochi personnel seem so unprepared for the dangers they faced out in the field? Did you really think you are the only one who could cheat death? Did you think your organization was the only one that could find those individuals whose lips taste of honey? Allow me to introduce you to the Mitsubachi. Hi, nice to meet you. Emily was saying, uh, Emily Met was saying in chat that she was surprised that Samuel didn't try to, um, recruit us at this point. But I kind of feel like that would be him letting the, uh, the, uh, what is it, the fox into the hen house? Uh, possibly. He might be regretting that, to me, uh, how it turned out. But, uh, sure. yeah, yeah, he might have his reasons. Did we get a, oh, yeah. I My update card. now says continue to the penthouse elevator. Is that what everyone else says? Yeah. Yes. Still you yeah. Continue. Okay, good. There is an artifact of junk programming in your brain. A broken line of code in the DNA of your species. The irresistible tendency towards self-destruction. You can see this in the repeated atrocities of history. Or even in the simple act of procrastination. If you see the edge of the abyss, you need more sleep. I have been a facilitator of your kind's boundless desire to destroy itself. Since the beginning, since Iron Cathedral stained the moon red with sacrificial pyres, since machine cities crossed the seas upon gears and gossamer sail, even in the hummingbird heartbeat of your recorded time. Thank you. 